Hi guys, this is Alina from We Learn to Share. In this video, we're going to cover the three principles of experimental design. And before we go on, just keep in mind that, that this is a very general, like a brief, quick review of the three principles of experimental design. So let's first go into the first principle of experimental design, which is the control or 통제변인 in Korean. So basically, this control is for lurking variables that might affect the response. Yeah, and you can do this by using a comparative design. You can do this by using a comparative design and ensure that the only systematic difference between the groups in the treatment is, is administered. So in other words, you need to keep the other variables that might affect the response or as which is same as the lurking variable, the same for all groups. And this is how you will use the control for your experimental design. And the second principle would be the randomization or SRS, as we all know. This is very easy, right? Um, this is also a very familiar concept because this is how you will use impersonal chance to assign experimental units to treatments. And this will help to create like a roughly equivalent groups of experimental units by balancing the effects of the lurking variables that aren't controlled on the treatment groups. And the last principle would be um, replication or in, in the case of statistics, which means repeatability. And this is same as to use enough experimental units in each group to reduce chance variation in the result. So in other words, you're going to repeat or replicate your experiment as many times as possible so that any differences in the effects of the treatments can be distinguished from chance differences between the groups. Yeah, and so control, randomization, and replication would be the three principles of experimental design. And this would be the end of my video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel and like this video. See you in the next video.